Hello and welcome back to another Can Can Conquer video. I'm deciding to change things up a little bit. Uh, I haven't really been able to get a video out um, recently just because it just takes a lot of time to, to edit and everything and just will work and then the amount that I'm in the gym now I just I just don't have the time to be doing that so I'm going to try and change it up a little bit and do just kind of vlog style videos because really that's that's the reason why I started this just to map my progress and kind of hold myself accountable. I've been posting a lot more on Instagram uh, because I haven't been doing any YouTube videos and um, just to kind of keep myself accountable and that has been working so uh, but I would like to, to get kind of an update out there so what I want to do today is I'm uh, I'm gonna head to the gym now I have a pull workout today it's Friday and I have two weight sessions and two cardio sessions left so what I'll do is I'll do my pull workout today and my cardio session my hit cardio session and I'll record a lot and just do a bit of a voiceover and kind of give an update and uh, the couple of things that that have happened in the last couple of weeks um, I had a pretty funky week there the other day where um, my body weight just like stayed still for the whole week and couldn't explain so I'll talk a little bit about that and then also on my push workouts how this whole prep and losing so much weight has kind of affected that and affected my strength because I've really seen some uh, some negative results there in terms of my strength on my push days and how I'm kind of navigating through that so um, yeah so this will be a slightly different style of video uh, it won't be too much editing going into it it's really just an update and uh, a workout and, and kind of a physique update I'll do the physique update after a workout so um, yeah so if you do like the video uh, just hit the like and uh, and subscribe as well to follow along and uh, yeah let's get into it Okay, change is ready to go, and then look what Neve is after doing to me. Look. Squeezing the hell out of me. You're dragging me to the gym. I'm not dragging you to the gym. You've been telling me you want to go to the gym, but then when it goes, going to the gym. You when did I say I want to go to the gym? You were literally just saying you wanted to get into it the other day. No, I didn't. You did. That you said you wanted right. to get a program and all. Oh, yeah, that was probably my other missus. Damn it. I hate when I get those two mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you coming? Or no? Yeah. Okay. Come on, let's go. I think we're gonna have some pre workout. You want pre workout? It's like 9 o'clock at night. But... Okay, so we're ready for the gym. Uh, we're gonna head there now. And Neve is actually gonna come with me. And it's like 9 o'clock at night, but I think we're gonna have some pre workout because we're just, we've had a long day. So this is the pre-workout we're going to be having. Essential amino energy, but the flavor is the more important thing that I want to see here. Orange cooler. So like a lot of the optimum nutrition amino energies, well, some of them like they're, um, wouldn't have to be my favorite, I guess, in terms of flavor. Um, I don't know, some of them are maybe a little bit too sweet, but this one is just amazing. Like it's the, uh, just tastes like melted orange cool pops. Um, yeah, so it's really nice. So we're gonna have this now. Oh, I didn't have any shaker bottles, so we just kind of stirred it up. And uh, even with the stir, like it actually mixed really well. So, um, yeah. oh, like it actually just drink that, like just normally. Kind of dangerous. Cause you want to be drinking workout just like for nothing. Tastes that good. Neve, you ready? Why didn't you come out then if you said you're ready? What? Ready to go, Johnson? I was only saying this is like dangerous because it actually tastes so good. You just want to hold it. Is this the crazy one? No, it's the um, orange. Not nice, it's the really nice one. It just tastes like melted kill pops. Yeah, that's, we have, so I want to show you this one. This one is nuts. Da, 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 da. This one here. So it's the BSN Endo Rush. So in one scoop of this bad boy. Caffeine, there we go. So one scoop, 300 milligrams of caffeine. I don't know if you can see it out there. Focus is in. Focus. Yeah, one scoop of that, 300 milligrams of caffeine. And uh, I think one of the one of the other days we had this, that one pretty late. And it was literally just me, I couldn't sleep all night. It was, uh, 
it's pretty insane. So this is a the amino energy. It's a much much less. I think it's like per serving, which is two scoops. It's like 100 milligrams of caffeine. So I've got four scoops in here. 200 milligrams will share it. So about 100 milligrams each. So it's not too bad. Um, although I would not recommend drinking caffeine past like 12 o'clock in the day, really. Where it's Oh my god, my freaking idiot. It's physical abuse. <laughs> You're the one that tried to kick me. That's no. self defense. What else are you so trying? <laughs> Actually, freaking Neve literally just picked me up. She put her head between my legs and picked me up upside down. Go, put the camera somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Okay, well, see if I can do this. Do the backpack, the backpack way, or the, what's it called? Whatever way you're picking up there. Between your legs? Yeah. So I'd say when I was 20, 20-odd pounds heavier, probably would have been able to do this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you need to tell the f***ing line. What am I going to do? I don't know. Whoa! This is dangerous. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> 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 Yeah, but I'm upside down and spinning. Oh my god. Okay, to the gym. So hello and uh, welcome to this voiceover. So what I'll do here is I'll just talk through this workout. So it's a pull workout and then uh, talk through the posing routine that'll follow as well. So um, typically what I've been doing is for all of my workouts, just before for the warm up, I've been doing five minutes cardio and just kind of get everything nice and warm. And then I'd always on my upper days, I do this kind of uh, shoulder exercise kind of routine here just to get my shoulders nice and warm so I'd always start with some side lateral raises with just two and a half pounds plates either side and then I do this kind of front raise and then through half of the motion and then through the whole motion uh, really just to kind of work the front delt and then to get kind of the rotator cuff coming into it as well with the full rotation and then work on the rear delt so hitting all three del delts with the uh, with the warm up period and uh, I do this before every single upper workout just to get the shoulders nice and warm just to keep things nice and healthy and just try and avoid injuries there so um, and then I do a slightly different one for my leg day so getting straight into the workouts so what I've been doing is uh, bicep exercises first for this whole prep I highlight as biceps as one of my weaknesses to my coach and um, so we've what he done there is he added my bicep two bicep exercises to the beginning of every one of my pull workouts um, just to make sure that I'm really focusing and putting my, all my strength and energy in at the beginning of the workout into my biceps. So you can see here on this one, I'm going quite heavy. And watching it back now, maybe the technique isn't the best. And um, really you want that kind of upper half of your arm to be staying straight or perpendicular with the floor and really just bending through your elbow. So I'd say the next time I'll do that, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to keep that in mind and, and drop the weight and go, do a bit stricter. So that first exercise there, cable curls, and that was four sets of I believe 11 on this day and then straight after that I go into just one set so typically the way my coach has programmed it is you do one kind of heavier normally a compound style lift and then you do do that for three or four sets um, of 8 to 12 reps and then you'd move on to like a finisher and um, so this would be like one set of between 15 to 20 reps and this one is just alternating dumbbell curls. So I only got 25 pounds in either hand here. And um, so pretty light. And you can see the way I'm talking there on the last exercise, not moving that upper half of my arm. I do much better here where you don't see much of the upper half moving. That's staying pretty much straight to the ground, perpendicular to the floor. And just bending about my elbow, getting a nice contraction there through the whole exercise. Um, so yeah, this, this is a nice one here to really get a good pump on. And you don't really need a lot of weight for this exercise as well to get a good workout in. So moving on here, uh, coming into the first back exercise, to bear in mind I've done those two bicep exercises earlier on, so you are a little bit weaker on those uh, first back exercises. So here I've got a hammer strength pull down, so really focusing on the lats, nice slow release of the weight, just trying to stretch those lats out a little bit and then nice and explosive, bringing those elbows right back and squeezing the lats together and squeezing the whole back there together. So again, this was four sets of 11 on this guy. And then I went straight into my finisher then, which is just straight arm pull downs. 
So I'll try my best. You can see my triceps being contracted a little bit there. Try my best just to keep a constant bell bend, say about a 10, 10, 15 degree bend in my elbow through the whole range of motion in this movement. And again, this is my finisher. So I think I do this for just one set of 15. So I did want to talk a little bit about on, I had a push workout just before this and I find in my leg and my pull workouts, I'm fine, but my push workouts have been struggling coming towards uh, the latter stages of this prep. So first, second set, I'll be absolutely fine. But then coming into the third and fourth sets on some of my heavier compound push movements like the bench press or dumbbell press or shoulder press, any of those, I find I'm really struggling in that third and fourth set. So say if I'm programmed for 12 reps, I'll get 12 in my first and second set. Third set, maybe I'll get nine or 10. And then fourth set, I completely tanked and I'm getting like seven or eight reps. So I've been doing the combat that as I just drop the weight wait about 20 seconds or so and then just finish out the, the, the set just making sure I get the required reps in there so then moving on to the next uh, I guess you could call it compound back so the last one the last uh, compound back exercise and the isolation exercise they're more targeting the lats this here which is just the cable rows it's more targeting that upper and kind of middle back and um, so I do get a bit of a swing here just to shift a bit heavier weight and then I try and pull the, uh, the handles towards my belly button there. I find that just gives me the best contraction um, and that little bit of a swing as well just allows me to handle a little bit more weight while still not completely dropping form. And then for my finisher on this one, for that kind of uh, upper and middle back, what I'm doing is just dumbbell rows. So I grab, I think 75 pounds here. And again, this is a finisher. So I'm doing one set of 20. Again, the last set was four sets of 11. And yeah, this is one set of 20, so 20 either side. So I'll just switch over there and do another 20 and finish that one out. And I like to get a bit of a, say like a 45 degree kind of bend there when I'm doing those, nothing too drastic. You can make it a bit more difficult by, by getting your uh, your chest and your back parallel to the ground and uh, really focusing on not getting any, any movement in your, about your hips and just pulling up with the elbow. So moving on to the abs so i like to i have about three or four ab exercises after every workout i do one ab exercise three sets of 15 and this is one that uh, i find gets seriously worked and um, works the abs and you don't need a lot of reps here to do this so i'm actually counting one rep as every time i pass the ball across here and i'd alternate between this leg raises cable crunches and then medicine ball kind of decline sit-ups as well and i just rotate about those three or four different ab exercises for each workout and then to finish it off today i was doing uh, my hip cardio as well at the end of my pull workout so i done 10 sets of this prowler push so what i do is i wait one minute and 40 seconds then for 20 seconds 10 seconds up and 10 seconds back i push the prowler and then uh, repeat that for 10 full intervals there so you can see a closer angle here now after the distance shot and then i've got eight 45 pound plates on and then i have the resistance up the tree as well on the actual prowler itself and what that does is essentially like a putting a, your parking brake or your handbrake on in your car just gives a bit of resistance against the actual wheels as well so it makes it a lot tougher to push and uh yeah i find those quite difficult to do so gets a really good workout in moving straight on into the posing so i believe this is the friday 14th is when this is recorded so i believe i was weighing around 180 pounds or so um so a couple of pounds heavier than i am now uh, at the time of this voiceover it's the following monday um and i think i'm weighing around an average of around 179 for this whole week um yeah so you can see just kind of on the front there so front poses, I'm not really too happy with this front pose yet. I need a lot of work on it. You can see my hands are just so freaking busy. I need to really calm, loosen them up a little bit and just calm them down. Um, probably need to get a bit more of a turn in my upper body, uh, keeping my hips and my chest kind of pointed out to a one, two o'clock kind of angle there. And then feet, I should really have my right foot uh, pointing out around a two o'clock and my left foot at a 10 in this one and then vice versa for the other side. The other side, this load is actually look a lot better. You see I have more of a turn towards that kind of, well, I guess it's 10 o'clock now if you're looking at it from my perspective. And uh, you could see the V shape coming on my right hand side. So looking looking at the left hand side there of the screen. Um, so I think that's my better side, the left side. I am left footed, so plant my weight on that left foot is better. However, actually just looking at my back leg there, um, 
that kind of pointy foot I didn't have that pointed out very well towards that kind of two o'clock it was kind of really hides the calf there so I need to work on that side looking much better um, I have a much stronger uh, stronger look from the side there than the front and um, you can see really well on the calf there kind of pointing that towards towards the front of the camera and just to get it to pop there and uh, and triceps and all kind of showing them off a little bit just before I turn nice thin waist keeping my hips pointed right out in front of me while turning my whole upper body on my head towards facing the camera and um, so my hips kind of at like a 45 degree or a 90 degree angle away from the uh, from the camera coming to the back pretty happy with the back as well and um, one of the biggest um, problems from problem areas for me really is around my waist I do hold a lot of my weight around my waist and kind of on the love handles in the front uh, front of the stomach area there as well so it's nice to see that really starting to come in um, still still a long way to go but it's nice to see it kind of coming in there and yeah pretty happy with the back and then moving on to kind of I guess my right side looking at my, at my perspective and um, to the side pose again left foot pointing the heel towards the screen looking pretty good and uh, just in, looking a lot better from the side but then again from the front here yeah just still not happy with this you can see how bad my right foot is there just pointing right towards the camera that should be pointing out at like two o'clock so i'm um, not doing myself any justice there and um, so i really need to look at working on the front pose and, and transitions as well but again from the side that's probably my best probably my best look there is on my left hand side turning out so um i'll make sure i keep that in mind as well I'll need to work on my transitions through all of these poses and kind of just jumping from one to the next um, but it's still a long way to go and poses I'll be practicing hard now for these remaining seven, seven to eight weeks before the show to say so I start experimenting a little bit here now trying to lean forward a little bit get a look at that back look at that tricep and everything and then jumping into the side pose so yeah this is definitely my strong strong pose here so I'm gonna uh, really try and use that to my benefit and work hard on the rest of all the other poses so um, yeah as I mentioned I have about seven weeks left so probably got about 10 to 15 pounds to lose um probably closer to that 15 pound mark so still a ways away so i'm kind of excited to see how i go definitely um if i can try and work on a base layer of a tan it will really help there because it's uh, the really pasty skin isn't doing me any justice especially in that light in there as well you can't really see much definition so you can see how much the, the tan when i get it done is going to come into effect there as well so yeah, so I'm going to uh, I'll wrap it up there, and uh, um, so yeah, thank you very much, and I'll, I'll get back to the video. This is great and everything, but for everybody, I want everybody to know that this, <laughs> this is not the morning time, it's 10 to 11 at night. <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> How I am not going to bed. Like I'm literally wired. Like I'm, I can easily stay awake for the next five or six hours. That's what happens when I take pre-workout. It affects me so much. Like I'm like, I could just go on a ten mile run right now. Like, you can go by yourself. <laughs> like I'm actually wired. I'm probably gonna just edit this video tonight and have it done. Like literally. It it can it tonight. You mean this morning? Yeah, this it's morning. It's ten to freaking no, eleven. No yeah, but I'm freaking wired. Everybody thinks it's great to have a book husband. You don't get the freaking sleep with the You don't get the freaking sleep. It's all the care of Ah, it's Sweet baby. Kenna was like, do you think I could get this over to that spot? And I thought he was just doing it for me, but nope. Go on off you pop. Oh, I thought you meant run. I could probably do. No. As I said. This fucker's playing with a bleeding sponge. It's zoomed in. Let's go.